I have a problem. If you've been following me, then you know I'm trying to grow grass in my backyard. I put in a sprinkler system and planted some grass seed back in April. Other than the grass only grew in patches, everything's working great. So I planted some more grass seed a while back. And if you stay till the end, I'll give you an update on how that went. Now, back to my problem. Every time I fill the tank or run the sprinklers, I have to set an alarm constantly to monitor the water level in my tank. So today, I'm gonna fix that problem. Join me and I'll show you how. What I've come up with is I have a couple of these floats and a piece of pipe like this one. All I got to do is make a base so this will stand up in the tank and I'll tie the floats to them. Let's go do that. <laughs> okay, I think I got everything I need to make my concrete base. I got my concrete, just using this kind right here. Got some water. This is a form that my buddy Lowell used a long time ago. So he said I could borrow it. I'm going to give it back to him after we pull after the concrete dries and we pull it out and I got my uh, pipe I already got some holes in it what I'm going to do is uh, put these through like that and then that'll make a little x if I can find that hole there it is and then that'll hold it in the concrete and then we just got to stand it up plumb and uh, let the concrete dry so let me mix up some of this concrete. Oh, that ain't too much. I put it. I think I put in too much water. It's alright if it's too soupy. Got that concrete a little soupier than I wanted, but it'll be alright. Just take longer to set up, but what I'm going to do is put these in. And then uh, put it in the bottom of this pan. Find that hole, there it is. And then, tie it to this ladder so it stays plumb. Well, it's in there. A few days, it'll be all right. Not the best concrete I ever did. While I let that concrete set up, I need to work on how I'm gonna fill the tank. The plan is I'm gonna use a control valve that you normally use to water the, the lawn with, but I'm gonna use it to fill my tank. So this will be connected to my control box and I'll just t have it uh, turn on when I want to fill the tank. And then uh, the float will turn it off if it gets too high. So what I need to do is take all this apart and make it so that I have pipe coming up from here, go into my tank. I just put this together a few months ago. If you want to watch that, it was only my third video called Do-It-Yourself Brass Pipe Insulation. Well, 
What's funny now is I need to replace the brass pipe I just installed because it's too short. I couldn't find a longer one without looking harder, so I settled on galvanized. The reason I feel like it was too short was I had a hard time taking off the garden hose. It was just too close to the wall. If you have never worked with screwing pipes together, it's always a dance between how tight to get it and to make sure it ends up facing the way you want. I'm not sure this ball valve is totally necessary, but it might come in handy. It keeps me from turning off the main water valve to the house if I need to do some repairs. I'm putting on a union before and after the control valve just to make it easier to replace. Now this control valve will be wired to zone number 12. I will just program it to come on every time I water the lawn and set it for more than enough time to fill the tank and let the float turn it off when it's full. Now I need to reduce down to one and a half inch on my tank to three quarter inch pipe. I will be adding this T so I can branch off for a sight glass to make it easier to see the water level in the tank. I made a spacer out of some scrap wood. I will screw it to the wall and use a pipe hanger to hold the pipe in place. This new impact driver is a bit tricky. It's going to take some time to get used to it. Next to the control valve, I'm going to install this weatherproof junction box. Then I will run all my float wires, control valve wires, and make the connections in the junction box. The box I chose came with these mounting clips. I think they will work just fine. Where the wires enter the box, I'm using waterproof cable glands. I just need to put two at the top for the float wires, one at the bottom for the wire going to the control box in the storage room, and one more on the side for the control valve. To mount it on the side of the building, I will just put in four sheet metal screws.
base to hold my floats. It's been several days. Now the concrete's out of the mold. So I think this is gonna work great for holding this pole up and that'll keep the floats in position. Got my float. This is what's gonna control the pump coming on and off. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hang it so that this is how low it's gonna hang in the tank. So when the water's up here, it won't flip off until it gets right there. Something like that. So, but also, need to put this weight on there, otherwise it won't turn on. So I need this weight to make it turn on. All right, I've got it marked where I want this top pump to be tied to. Let's see, so I want it like this about right there. Perfect. Let's go put it in the hole. I drilled two holes in the side of the tank near the top to run my float wires through. Then I pulled the two float wires through the holes. I don't think there's any reason for a watertight connection here. Then I fed all the wires through the cable glands to the junction box. Using some cable clamps, I attach both wires to the building first above the junction box and then again up near the PVC pipe. After that, I just use zip ties to attach the float wires to the PVC pipe back to the tank. I want to leave the float wires long. I just don't see the need to cut them and I would rather have extra wire just in case. So I guess I'll just hang it all on the outside of the tank.
hot. <laughs> now I have to figure out how to hook all the wires up to make this work. I would show you the wiring diagram, but I don't think it's that important. If you think I should make a video on it, let me know down in the comments below. This is how it ended up. Now, I just need to make the final connections in the control box. I don't know if this is gonna work, but what I gotta do is put this pipe inside this tube trying to make me a sight glass for that tank. So my idea is to heat this pipe up because I don't have a heat gun. So I'm trying to do this today. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to wait and borrow a heat gun. So I'm gonna stick it in, heat that pipe up. And then when it gets soft, pull it out and put this in. Let's see if it works. It's hot. I ain't gonna get it on. It's on. <laughs> but not far enough. I'm gonna try that. I can put a clamp on that. I got it on a little bit. I think I can get a clamp on that and I'll be good enough. A little disappointed how this is going down right here. It was a uh, plumb when I installed everything, and then when I filled the tank, it it bolts this out and made it go down. But uh, it is what it is, so I just got to live with it. So all I got to do now is screw this on. Turning the valve. Now I'm ready to hook up the other end of the uh, sight glass. So I have to do the same procedure as I did yesterday, heat up the end of this tube and stick it onto this pipe. Now yesterday, I put too much tube in the pipe and it was too hot and I couldn't handle it. So I'm gonna try only to stick in a small, amount, uh, small part of it today. Let's see how this goes. That went good, except it's crooked. All right, I like that. All right, I'm gonna stretch it tight. All right, let's see how much water I got in the tank. I think it's somewhere near here. Let's check. Oh, a little high. Oh, it went up and down. Somewhere near 1,200. Let's water the lawn.
Now, an update on the planting of the grass seeds. I got a lot of rain right after planting, and I wasn't sure what was going to happen. About 10 days later, I thought for sure I would see some grass coming up, but it looked like another failure. I thought I was going to have to do it all over again. Then one day, there it was, about 10 days later, this is what I got. What you see here is four weeks. I'll be giving you more updates in upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.